Hey friends, we're so happy you could join us this week. We hope you are staying safe and well. And boy, do we have some fun in store for you this week. That's right, guys. We're going to send Amanda out to do some live reporting to see if she can find a rooster. All right, Amanda. Rooster. Go find that rooster. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him, but our friend the rooster is crowing away this morning. Um, I've been looking for him all morning. It's about 6.15 and I can't seem to find him to ask him a little bit more about the story that we're going to hear today. But I did get to hear him crow, so hopefully that helps. But I'm going to send it back in to talk with everybody. All right, Amanda's going to come back now from that little adventure that she had. I think that was really cool how she was able to listen and hear that rooster. You know, Amanda, I'm sorry that we got a little mixed up this morning. Well, that's okay. I had no idea that that rooster crowing led to such a huge story. It really, really does. It's a really important story about Jesus and Peter. In fact, let's go ahead and listen to it now. Awesome. This is Peter. hey Whoop. Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus, and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? but that he would follow him later. But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me. Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh -oh. But Peter said, Even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I hear. Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus, and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. But Jesus healed the guard and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <clears throat> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Uh -huh. Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma. But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind, and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. 
Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, Have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, Throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, It's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mm-hmm, I miss a fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven. And many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. Well, that was a crazy story. Can you believe after all of that, Peter actually denied Jesus? I agree. God really knows how to teach us big lessons and wants us to take him seriously. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about me being serious about my faith, and I will never be ashamed of that. And I hope that you guys aren't either. I know I'm not ashamed of it, and I know you guys aren't. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the story today, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.